Hi everyone, this is Lori from happybirdsglitternest.blogspot.com and today I was sitting at my computer desk making up these little Easter treats for my Bunko group and I thought, well I might as well turn on the camera and show them what I'm doing. So um, I'm going to show you how I put these together. I wanted to use materials that I already had at home. So um, what I did was I purchased these Dove uh, caramel and milk chocolate candies and they are I think 28 in the bag let me check again yeah there's 28 pieces in each bag I decided I wanted to give each one of the ladies six pieces of um, candy in their little treats that I made them and this is what they look like and they're really easy to put together so the first thing you're going to need you're going to need to do is um, grab some 80 pound cardstock and cut them into three and a half by two and a fourth inch rectangles okay and then I have these um, little bags that I found in the jewelry section and they are four inches across okay and I found these at Hobby Lobby <clears throat> so what I did was I took my paper cutter and I cut three inches off the top to and then I just discarded that this is um, what we're keeping here at the bottom okay so all I did <clears throat> was slide one of these little cards in that I made like that okay and then I took six pieces of candy now with the candy you gotta be careful because they have a long way and a short way see the difference and I'm putting them in the long way like that. So I'm going to be placing six pieces in here. And don't worry about them sliding around because they don't slide around in these bags. They hold together very well. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a piece of tape. This is invisible tape. It's just a little piece. And I'm going to turn this around and I'm going to fold these corners down on each side like that. And then fold that down and then put a little piece of invisible tape there, okay? And so this is what you have in the front. I might have to, yeah, that came up. Darn it, hold on. I have to do something here. Let me get another piece of tape. I wonder if I forgot to fold this downwards. I don't know, I'll have to go back in the video and look. There we go. Like that. Okay. And then it should look like this in the front. All right. So you can use any type of um, cotton yarn. I bought this from Hobby Lobby. And I always wait till the yarn is 30% off. And um, then I, you know, pick up the cotton yarn in different colors. These really come in handy. Um, I'm going to cut about mm, maybe 17 inches of thread, or excuse me, of yarn. Let me see. Okay, I was looking for the end. <laughs> so I'm going to cut 17 inches.
And I'm just going to turn this over like this and put one little overhand loop. And then I'm not pulling it super tight or anything like that. I'm leaving it loose. And then another overhand knot and then a second one to keep it in place. And then I'm just going to cut this off as close as I can. Now you're probably thinking, well isn't that going to slide around all over the place? No, not by the time we're finished. I'll, I'll show you why in a moment. Okay, and then we're going to take our yarn again. And I'm going to, with three fingers, make maybe one, two, three, four, five little loops like this. And I'm going to cut this off. And I'm going to make sure it's like this. I'm going to lay it down. Now I'm going to cut another piece of yarn. And just tie this together. Make sure you have the knot where you want it, okay? And then you pull it and then just make a, a second quick overhand loop. Make sure it just kind of stays in place. Okay, and then you're going to cut this off, your ends. Alright, and that'll be the back. This will be the front, and I'm just kind of opening up my loops here. Okay, and so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take my my Fabri-Tac glue and put a little bit of glue on the back here like this and just place it right here in the middle right over the center of this yarn going both directions and then I'm going to take um, some of these little sunflowers. And I picked up a couple of these. These are from the Crafter Square and they came in last spring so I imagine more will be coming out. And if by chance Dollar Tree doesn't come out with this, they do have the little sunflowers um, at Hobby Lobby and it's called the Paper Studio. But I would definitely wait until all Paper Studio items are on sale 40% off, which is generally about once every two weeks. So I already started cutting from this package so I just figured I might as well continue. And I'm going to try to... I'm just going to cut one off like this. Okay. And then I'm just going to place some more Fabri-Tac place it right in the center of that bow. Now I'm sure I'll add a, I'll tuck in a little um, little tiny tag or something like that, you know, saying who it's from and Happy Easter. But that's it. I mean, really it's very easy. And these are cute and they're quick. And um, they're, they weren't too expensive. They weren't bad. I mean, I got the bag of Dove um, chocolates for, let's see, what was it? Four sixty-eight a bag, but there's 28 pieces, and you're giving six in each one. So, um, with that said, I hope you enjoyed this quick little tutorial, <laughs> and thank you so much for stopping by and watching. Take care, and God bless each and every one of you. Bye-bye.